Hi, I'm Paris, and I've had a few requests to try out the As Seen on TV Comfort Click Belt. This belt uses a ratcheting system quite a bit different from traditional belts that allows you to adjust it to just the fit you need. Well, for the past year and a half, I've been using a belt from a company called Core. I've been using one of their track line belts. They sent me in August of 2015, and I have been wearing it every single day. I really like it, so I'm going to try out this belt see how it is on its own, and then compare it with the trackline belt I've been wearing for a year and a half, and see how it's holding up. This really is a great technology in a belt. Rather than having holes that are positioned about an inch apart, so the belt, maybe it fits just right, but if not, it's got guaranteed to be either too loose or too tight. This one uses little let me show you on the back here. Little bumps on the inside of the belt that catch on a piece from the buckle, and so you can adjust it in one quarter increments instead of one inch increments. That for $20 over at our local Walgreens store in the As Seen on TV aisle. If you'd like to find out more about it, there's a link down below this video. The one thing on the package that has me a little bit concerned with the comfort click is it does say it's a leather belt, but it says with simulated grain coating. That just puts me in mind of inexpensive belts where that top layer of uh, on a black belt that like plasticky stuff will peel off, sort of like your belt delaminates. In the package is the belt. One end to go through the loops. The other end is just rough because you're going to cut this end once you size it so it will fit you properly. And the buckle with the mechanism. Attach the buckle, secure the buckle to the belt, and then you're ready to start wearing it. If you haven't seen this type of belt before, on the inside there is this set of little bumps that the buckle will catch on. And so you can catch it on each individual bump. That's how you can size it so precisely. And I did worry with the original trackline belt that I received that these would wear out, that sort of smooth down over time. But that hasn't been an issue with the belt I'm wearing. And the buckle and mechanism, I, I think I figured it out. Well, this is the part that's going to attach and hold it onto the leather belt. And as for the part that catches on those little bumps, it's right here. This is a different release mechanism than on the belt buckle I'm used to. This one, you pull the belt buckle up and you can see that gets then pulled down into the buckle frame and that releases the leather belt and you can pull it out. Here's my core track line belt. There's a little release lever here that you pull, and when you've done that, then the belt slides out. On the core track line belt, the piece that catches is right here, and with this little thumb release, that's how you get it so you can slide the belt in and out. And in the core track line belt, here are the little pieces, the little bumps that catch. I don't see that they've worn down appreciably in the year and a half that I've been using it every single day. The Comfort Click should fit up to 48 inch waists. Hoping I'm not going to need all of that. So I have put on, let's see, August 2015. Oof, I've probably put on 15 pounds or so. Unfortunately, most of it in the last six to eight months. So I'll want this long enough so I can tuck this into the first loop, but not so far that it goes all the way to the second loop. Well, I don't, at the moment, I don't think I need to trim any off. But let me put the buckle on and see. You have to remember to do this. So the little bumpy side will be on the inside of the belt. Okay, it's gonna go like this. I remember needing to use pliers on this belt. I think I'll need to get some for this as well. Try not to scratch up the buckle. Let's see how the ratchet mechanism works here on the Comfort Click belt. Slide the belt through. Ah, it's quieter than the other belt. There we go. That tightens it up, and then to release it, you lift this part. Well, let me see about pulling it out without releasing it, if it's going to hold. Oh, uh-oh. Let me slide it back in there. Try that again. Because I did this exact same test with the core belt. All right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, to release it properly, you lift this, which then pulls that thing down into the frame. So you would, I guess with this hand, lift it up, and then you can pull this out. That has me curious about my track line belt, if it can still pass that test of um, pulling without loosening. Let's see, here we go. Yeah, 
still tight. Try on the comfort click. Feels a little bit narrower than the other belt. Okay, so I like it like that. I could cut it a uh, mm -mm, two or three inches, I suppose. So it'd be right here. It'll go through the first loop and then it'd be here. That's what it looks like. Definitely feels narrower than the other one. And I won't bend over and see if I can get it to loosen. We just look at it like this. Now when I want to take it off, it's a matter of lifting the buckle and then pulling the material. And that comes out really smoothly. I do like the release mechanism of the Comfort Click Belt a little better. It's easier to just be able to pull that buckle up and it releases it. Whereas this one, you do have to sometimes fiddle a little to find the release with your finger and pull it to get the belt out. But as for the technology of the mechanism, the Comfort Click, I tried pulling fairly hard on it twice and it slipped both times. I cannot get the track line to slip no matter what I do. The other point in favor of the Comfort Click belt is price, about $20 for this one, whereas the Trackline belt's about $50, but I can tell you from my experience wearing this every day for a year and a half, it has held up just fine, still works great, but when I have to bend over or squat down for something, I don't worry that my belt is going to suddenly loosen, making a sound like that. Occasionally I'll wear the Comfort Click belt just to see how well I like it and how well it holds up. But if you're still using traditional belt technology with the metal prong and the holes spaced an inch apart, this ratchet technology is so much better. I encourage you to try it. It's so comfortable because your belt always fits you exactly. You can keep checking back for more men's fashion accessory reviews, but mostly other products. Or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic review guy.